So, so today I'm, I'm here to talk about, uh, I changed the title, sorry, the, the one of being my, my life as an African-American woman in, in physics. Um, I admit that when I was asked to come here, it was, it was a challenge to think about the talk. I'm used to giving research talks about my science. This is abstract, you know, this is facts and deliverables and I can show devices, I know what to do. I'm not used to talking about myself, <laughs> my background. Um, and so, you know, I thought, why am I being asked to give this talk? Well, the obvious answer is that I'm a, a double minority, right? I'm a, an African-American woman in the hard sciences. That's pretty rare. I think that the year I got my PhD, I was the only African-American woman in the country in, to get her PhD in physics that year. Um, so that's rare, but it didn't seem like quite enough. And I, I think that the reason I'm here is that I'm an African-American woman in physics who really likes her job. <laughs> I really, I'm really happy with my job um, and with my life and with some of the choices I've made. And it's important to me that you all have some of the same opportunities that I've had. Um, and you have the opportunity to choose jobs, make choices that are good for you so that you can have careers that you like, hopefully careers in the sciences, in math, which I think is a great place to work, <laughs> to have a career. Um, and that you can end up to jobs and lives that make you happy as well. So uh, with that, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna you know, tell you something about myself. I, I don't have a lot to say. It'll be pretty short and I'm looking forward to just opening up the floor to questions. Uh, so I'm just gonna start by telling you where I am now, why, why I like where I am, something about my personal background. You've already heard the skeleton outline, what path I took to get my career trajectory, um, special challenges that I've thought of, of being a woman or a minority um, in this field. And I'm just gonna mix in advice and stories and some tangents and random stuff and just bear with me while I do that. <laughs> and ask me about more, if you want more detail, just ask me about it later and I'll be glad to fill in anything. Okay, so, so first let me tell you about where I am right now and what better place to start than my webpage. <laughs> So I'm actually very proud of it. I just put it together a few weeks ago, so uh, I, I, it's not fancy, but I did it. Um, so <laughs> there's the URL um, uh, if you want more information about my research or, or what my group is doing right now, please feel free to just look that up. You know, my email address is on there. Uh, as you can see, it says at the very top, my research is on uh, transport and nanoscale systems. I'll say more about that in a minute. I have a big research group. I don't have a pointer, but you can, you can see it there. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> it's, it's, it's okay, I'm fine. I, we don't, no, it's, it's, I don't need a pointer, not that sort of talk. Um, but there's my research group. Uh, I have uh, six graduate students and a postdoc and a couple undergrads working for me. We have a couple grants that supports all of them. I have a beautiful lab in the materials research building. It has red floors. Um, I should say that, you know, this is, I'll say later about making your own choices and doing things. This is one thing that it, I was able to design my own lab and I thought, well, you know, I don't want a gray floor or a brown floor. I like red. I want something colorful and exciting. And the, uh, the woman who was helping me design the lab, she was coming up with the colors and stuff, she was so excited. She said, it's going to be girly. <laughs> you know? And I said, that's good. You know, I want it to be how I want it. That's my contribution, red floors in my lab. So anyway, so, uh, so that's, my, uh, that's my research page. So, so what do I work on? Um, I, I can't tell you much about myself without telling you what I'm doing right now. So very, very briefly, um, I work on... I study the fundament fundamental electronics of very small things. By very small, I mean like a billionth of a meter in diameter, right? Nanoscale objects. Uh, things like carbon nanotubes, which are little tubes of carbon that are, that are rolled up. Um, graphene, uh, superconductors, things that have zero resistance on the nanoscale. We make these things, we measure them. I've showed a little diagram. You know, mostly we just treat them as resistors, put a current, put a voltage on, measure the current, uh, make interesting devices. There is a picture of me when I was in grad school with one of our apparatus that gets things very, very cold. Um, this is all experimental science. It's officially called experimental condensed matter physics. Um, and I think it's a lot of fun. I enjoy the actual work of it. It's, it's sort of, to me, a cool topic, nanoscience, nanotechnology. I get to play around the lab. Um, I get to think about these things all the time. I'm interested in it. Uh, it's relevant to devices like ultra-small computers, like quantum devices. Um, this, is, this is something that I enjoy thinking about and doing and what I get to do all the time. Uh, so, you know, I'm gonna give you a sense of what I do. You know, I'm faculty in academia. Of course, that's not the only thing that you can do with a math science degree. There's a lot of things you can do with a math science degree, and we can talk about those later. Um, I'm giving my 
perspective from an academic. Um, so you know, maybe you wonder, what do you do all day as, as faculty? Uh, here's I've just given a list of what I might do on any given week. There's a whole lot of things that I, I teach. Um, I'm teaching my own course on nanoscience in the fall. I've taught you know, 400 students at a time in a big lecture on introductory E&M. Uh, I, I do research with graduate students. I should mention that you know, I, I used to, in, in, as a graduate student myself and as a postdoc, I worked in a lab all the time. Now my graduate students work in the lab all the time and I watch them work all the time and pressure them to work more all the time. <laughs> but, um, but you know, I work with them, so I research with the students, I, I mentor the, stu the, under the graduate students and undergraduates on classes and courses and choices. Uh, I spend time writing grants, I, I read research articles to figure out what's going on in my field, to, to, uh, to get ideas for new experiments, I spend a lot of time writing papers when we have results, I review other people's grants and articles to give my opinion on them, I go to seminars, give talks, attend workshops, there's a lot of things here, as you can see, and you can pick any three of them. They're sort of a full-time job. <laughs> so um, it's, a very, it's a very varied job. And, uh, and like I said, I'm here because I like my job. Right? And I, I don't think it's a small thing. Uh, I, I challenge you to just go up to a, you know, sort of a random adult on the street and say, do you like your job? Right? I, I bet the answer will be, you know, it's OK. <laughs> you know? it, I, it, it's really, I find it, it's, it's hard to find people who really like what they do. I don't mean like the money or like the prestige, but just like the actual things that they do during the day. You know, there's never a day that I get up and just dread going to work. You know, there are days when I, I have a lot to do and I'm just rushing and worrying about how I'm gonna get it all done, but I never don't wanna do it. I mean, even grant writing, which everyone complains about, it's just that it takes a lot of time and we have other things to do. It's not that it's that boring or uninteresting. Um, I really, I like doing the things that I do. Um, so here's some of, the, some of the reasons why I like it, and I apologize for all the pictures of myself, but I don't know, it's about me, so that's fine. Um, <laughs> it's my only chance now. Um, so, so why do I like what I do? There's a huge variety of work. I just told you about all those different things. It's never boring, right? There's so many different things that I can focus on in any given day. I get to focus on the research and the teaching that's interesting to me. Intellectual stimulation, work your mind. You know, again, it's just, it's not boring. It's, I get to, to think about what I like to think about and to direct my work toward things I like to think about. Again, that's very rare. And if you continue in math and science, it's much easier to find jobs that allow you to do that. Right? If you get an advanced degree, even if you don't go on in academia, you can find jobs that allow you to think about things that are interesting for you. And that's a huge advantage in life, right? It's a big deal. Um, I'm pretty well paid. Uh, I, I, say, I put this here because I, I feel like there's a fallacy that if you're in academics, you're, you're poor and you're not making a lot of money. Okay, it's true, I'm not making as much as bankers make, and bankers aren't making as much as they used to make, okay? So I actually have a pretty stable job right now, right? <laughs> Compared to them. Um, but you know, I, I you have a nice house and you know, a fine car and I have everything I need and I get to travel. And if you look at most of your professors, they live pretty well. So um, you don't need to worry about having a decent life, especially if you have you know, a degree in science. You can, you, know, you can get jobs. You can get good, stable, well-paying jobs and have good lives. I get to set my own schedule. I gave that whole list of things that I do every day, um, but I get to choose what I want to do on any given day. You know, if I don't feel like reading any papers that day, I won't do it. If I feel like spending a whole day reading papers, you know, after teaching or something, then I do that. Um, that's both the good and the bad of the job, actually, that uh, there's so much to do that, you know, I have to actually decide, and I always feel like I'm not doing all the right things. But, you know, aside from that, I, it's wonderful being able to choose what you want. Um, I find physics, you know, and the science is surprisingly social. I mean, if you look at you, the faculty around you, they tend to talk to each other a lot, right? They talk about teaching, they talk about research, they go to conferences, they go to workshops, they go to events. It's, it's a nice community of people who are interested in the same thing. I find that a really nice place to work. 